today we'll be looking at a new card from Code of the Duelist. This is Lila, Twilight Swan Enchantress. This is a dark spellcaster with 1700 attack and 200 defense. And its card effect reads, Once per turn, when a spell or trap card or effect is activated, you can banish one light sword monster from your hand or graveyard, then target one face-up spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. Once per turn, if your other light sword monster's effect is activated, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Now, as an overview, when looking at this card, it has decent a decent attack stats and can be useful if and when you draw it at any time, for example, late game, early game, often it's obviously going to be better if you're, it's on your, if you're playing second. However, unlike Jane, who had an improved version of its original effect, this card is much more limited. By this I mean, though it can activate in response to any form of activation to get rid of a spell or trap card, the fact that you have to wait for your opponent to do anything makes it inherently worse off. Though this argument can be countered by saying that, unlike the original, this effect can be um, used during either player's turn to remove a card from the field before they get their fullest opportunity to use those effects. The other issue is, that it's specific to face up spell and trap cards, meaning you cannot deal with the set cards on your opponent's field, which was less restricted with the original Lila. Overall, this card is decent and could be run as a one of, I would not run more than one because though it has its uses in certain circumstances, it is still restricting, uh, meaning you should run better spell and trap removal. You know, the standard ones, you've got that Heavy Storm Duster, the new one which is also in Code of the Duelist, you've got Twin Twisters, you've got Cosmic Cyclone, good old MST, Mystical Space Typhoon. Even for the fun of it, run Dice Spoon. See if you can get two... Uh, try, and, try and get a 5 for that. that that way you'd get the same effect as a twin twister at the time of recording uh, this card is being offered at 99 pence this is uh, looking at ebay this is reasonable and for the same reasons as Jane you should pick up this card though it would be better to yeah, just uh, buy it off um, ebay as it is a super rare making it maybe perhaps more difficult to draw from a box of Code of the Duelist. As always, I'd like to hear what you guys think. Do you like this card? Do you think it's versatile enough to be warranted in running the Twilight Swan deck? Or would you prefer to be running the original Lila? For me, I personally consider the original to be better. Though it gets sent to uh, defense mode, and obviously 200 defense is nothing, it'll be run over by level 1 monsters. Um, you could run ch uh, defense changing cards, or uh, protection cards to deal with that. For me, I'd probably run three of the original Lila, and maybe one of these, just so it's splashed in the deck. Um, uh, as always, I... Um, Please uh, like the video, please subscribe, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch the video.